Greetings and blessings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is my privilege to speak to you today morning. I hope you have a very greatly blessed day ahead. Today I want to talk from John chapter 3 verses 5 to 8. In this passage we can see Jesus Christ our Lord and Saviour is speaking to Nicodemus and he says, Truly, truly I tell you, if you are not born again by water and spirit, you will not enter the kingdom of God. And when Jesus said this, for that sole purpose, all of the humankind is in demand to accept and to be born again to enter the kingdom of God. For many of us, we have done that. And many of us have the privilege to be with Christ, to enjoy the new life that we have in Christ. But what caught me thinking that is, for many of us, it has just become a name band that we call ourselves just become an identity that we call but what does it really mean to be born again today morning let me tell you guys when we see a newborn baby how do we identify that that baby belongs to that exact mother and father it is very hard at the beginning if you give me two different newborn babies which were born at the same time and have two different set of parents it will be quite difficult to identify because there won't be much of a difference. They're both tiny, they'll be both of pretty much the same colour and it'll be very difficult to identify. But as they grow, we can see the difference. They probably have the shape of his dad, probably look like the mother, probably smile like the mother, maybe talk like the dad. And we identify, right, this child belongs to this parents because the mannerisms, the characteristics of this child belongs to its father and we identify and that comes from the DNA and that determines what hair colour, what eye colour, how it looks and how it manners and everything detects is by the DNA. Unless and until that changes, we do not belong to that particular family and to their money. The person who is listening to me could be born again maybe not. Dear child of God, let me get this across. If you say that you are born again, but you lack the characteristics of Christ, let me tell you, nothing has changed inside of you. Your identity, the people calls you may have changed, but the person that lives inside you hasn't changed. The blood inside you, the cells inside you, hasn't been changed unless and until that is changed that is born of the Spirit of God you do not have the pass the ticket to enter the kingdom of God today morning to everyone who is listening to me let me tell you this is the grace time that we have the door open in front of us and Jesus has told us not until we are born again by the water and the Spirit we will not enter his kingdom. Let us examine ourselves and ask ourselves in everything that we do today, do I reflect Christ in me? Do I have his characteristics in me? If not, we're losing some way along this journey. Today morning, I hope you have a great day ahead and be like Christ. May God bless you.